Hi there. Now, for this question, we're told that the first three terms of a geometric series are 18, 12 and p, respectively, where p is a constant. And we've got to find in the first part the value of the common ratio of the series for one mark. And then for part b, the value of p for one mark um, in c, the sum of the first 15 terms of the series giving your answer to three decimal places for two marks. So if you'd like to have a go at this, I'll just give you a moment to pause the video. OK, welcome back then if you had a go. Now, for part A then, we've got to find the value of the common ratio of the series. Now, for a geometric series, we should know that these go up in a common ratio, which we call r. That is, if you multiply 18 by some value r, it gives us 12. And then if you multiply 12 by the same value r, it will give you p. So to get that common ratio, let's just write it in here. To get that common ratio r, all I've got to do is just divide 12 by 18. So 12 divided by 18. OK, will give us that value. And this reduces. We can divide top and bottom by 6. It reduces down to 2 thirds. OK, well, in part B now, we've got to find the value of P. And this is very straightforward because all you've got to do is to do 12 multiplied by R. It will give us P. So P would equal 12 multiplied by the common ratio R of two thirds. So three will go into twelve four times, four twos are eight. Okay, so P is equal to eight. Now for the final part, part C, what we've got to do here is to find the sum of the first fifteen terms of the series. Giving your answer to three decimal places. Well for a geometric series we should be familiar with the formula that the sum of the first n terms is given by the first term, which we call a, multiplied by 1 minus the common ratio to the power n. And all of this is divided by 1 minus r. You might well see or use, it's up to you, this version of the formula where we multiply top and bottom by minus 1. That would be a times r to the n minus 1, all divided by r minus 1. It's up to you which one of these two formulas you use. They'll both give you the same answer. But I'm going to use this one. We tend to use this one when the common ratio is less than 1. So therefore, if we use that, we've got the sum of the first 15 terms is equal to a, the first term, which is 18. And that's multiplied by 1 minus the common ratio which is all of two thirds, okay, so we'll put that in brackets, raised to the power 15. Okay, and then this is divided all by 1 minus the common ratio of two thirds. And if you work this out on your calculator, you should find you get 53.8766 and so on. And we've got to give this to three decimal places, so that's going to be 53.877 to three decimal places, 3dp for short. Okay, 